Anthony Dami with the Wichita Eagle. Darius, uh, speaking with your father, he said that when you were nine or ten years old, he uh, made you make a promise to him that no matter how hard he was on you, you weren't going to get angry and you weren't going to bite back because he wanted you to be really good. Uh, what do you recall about that, and, and do you think that's kind of propelled you to this path that you're on right now? Uh, yeah, my dad kind of he kind of had a um, tough love thing when I was little. You know, he was hard on me, and you know I appreciate that because. Eventually, when I went to my Vincennes, my junior coach, my junior college coach was the same way, and now I'm here. Coach Marshall is the same way, so he kind of prepared me, you know, to take tough coaching when I was young. Next question is on the left side of the room, to the left of the aisle. Paul Swanthrop, Wichita Eagle. Fred and Darius, could both of you just kind of describe Notre Dame's offense? They seemed to offer a lot of a lot of challenges, a lot of shooters. Uh, just yeah, give us a description of them. Darius first, please. Then Fred. Uh, they're they're really good offensively, you know. They they shoot a great percentage from the three, and you know they try to they try to come off of ball screens a lot, and you know drive and contribute to the other players around the perimeter, and that's how they get their uh, wide open looks a lot. So we just gotta we just gotta guard, you know, like we've been guarding. We gotta stay with our principles, and, you know, try to drive them off the three point line a little bit. Fred, same question to you. Uh, obviously, they space the floor with. You know, multiple guys who shoot high percentages from three. Um, we got a couple guards that really get in the paint and create uh, and get their own as well. But, you, I mean, you're talking about one of the better offensive teams in the country. So, uh, obviously, they present a challenge for us. But I think, you know, pr preparing for them, uh, I think we'll be ready. All the way to the left toward the front. Darius Bob Lutz from the Wichita Eagle. You've had issues where you've gotten into early foul trouble. Two first half fouls, you've gone to the bench. Uh, can you talk just a little bit about that? And then for Fred, Shaq's had the same issues, and you're kind of his personal valet out there. What do you tell him about trying to play defense without fouling? Darius first, then Fred. Uh, for me, it's just being sound and not worrying about fouling. You know, when I worry about getting fouls early, that's when I foul because I'm I'm not as aggressive on defense, but I need to just, you know, play and, and get that out of my mind, the fouling part, and then I think I'll be fine. Fred, the question to you? Uh, I mean, it's only so much you can tell him before he's got to do it on his own, but uh, I think he's got to, you know, just do, do his work early, be a little bit more engaged, because when he's engaged, he's really good. And then I think this other part of his conditioning, when he when he gets tired and he does dumb stuff and gets out of position and end up getting fouled. So uh, just trying to get him to understand that you're not going to shut out guys at this level. Um, you know, those guys are good enough players to score, so you got to just make it hard on them. Center section in the front of the room. Darius Marlow right now from the Akron Beacon Journal. Could you just talk about your decision to come to Wichita State and it seems like it's worked out like beyond your wildest dreams? Um, my decision to come to Wichita State was, was really based on, you know, the success they have with, with junior college players. I've seen that they had a lot of junior college players come and succeed. So I wanted to come somewhere where I could, I could go and, you know, succeed and graduate, get my degree and also, you know, develop as a player. Left-hand section just to the left of the aisle. Uh, hi, uh, Darius. Uh, Mark Tracy, New York Times. Uh, I know you're from Akron, and uh, I was wondering, first, if this is the closest college game uh, you've ever played to, to home, uh, and also if what that means to you and also what it means to play at Quicken. Needless to say, Cavaliers have a player from Akron, and probably I don't know if that means something to you or not, but I'd be curious. Uh, yeah, this is the closest I've I've played uh, to home since I've been in college, and it means a lot because you know my family gets to come see me play. A lot of my family and friends have never seen me play a college game in person. You know, my parents been having to drive 15, 16 hours just to come watch me play, and it, it means a lot just for them to be able to come and I can see them because I haven't been home in a while. And I mean, this arena is is amazing. You know, I know the atmosphere is going to be crazy and it's, it's just a beautiful place to play and I'm just I'm just happy to be here with my teammates and you know contribute and try to win this thing. All the way to the left side right of the aisle. Paul Solentrop, Wichita Eagle. Fred, uh, it seems like you're able to 
p pick up the pace a little bit in the NCAA tournament compared to the, the regular season. Uh, how comfortable is Wichita State doing that, uh, getting out and running a little bit more? I mean, that's the way we like to play, especially as players get out in the open court. Because um, at this level, I mean, you get this deep into the tournament, everybody has good half-court defense, set defense when you got five guys staring at you. So um, if we're able to get some stops and, and rebound the basketball, I think we can get a lot of good opportunities in transition uh, with the personnel we have. So obviously Indiana makes you play that pace with the way that they play their offense. And I think we got up and down um, through stretches of the Kansas game, and we were able to have success there. So. Uh, as players, we like playing fast. Obviously, during conference, it's going to slow down. People know, you know, what you're running before you know what you're running. It seems like so. It's nice to play somebody else that is not as familiar. In the center section to the right of the aisle, Tim. Uh, Darius, uh, Tim Warsinski from the Cleveland Plain. Here, curious, what part of Akron did you grow up in, and uh, what other things were you into besides basketball while you're growing up? And are you going to get your hands on any Swenson's hamburgers while you're here? Uh, I grew up on the north side of Akron, and then when I went to high school, I moved over in the Fairlawn area. I went over, um, went to Firestone High School, and I mean, if somebody, you know, bring me some Swinsons, I've I've sent a request out for someone to bring me some, but I haven't got any any deliveries yet. So hopefully, I can get my hands on some. <laughs> 